Good morning. How are everybody doing? Good morning. Good morning. Thank God for allowing us to be here one more time. Amen. The Holy Spirit has been good to us today. Oh, and we're going to continue it on. Keep them around. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 And you will try, Jesus. He's all right. And you He's alright, and you will try, Jesus. He's alright, yeah. I don't try, and he's alright. I don't try to pull my mother. He's alright. I don't try to pull my mother. He's alright.
to do this morning. Yeah. I hear, Lord, and I'm a heart. Yeah. Well, Lord, come again this morning, Lord, telling you thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. And thank you, Lord, for your many blessings. Yes. Well, Lord, I come this morning, my Father. Oh, yes. Get to give you some more thanks this morning. Yeah. Well, Lord, for keeping us and watching over us all week long. Oh, yes. yes. Well, Lord, and you brought us through Daniel's your seen and unseen thing. Yeah. Well, Lord, we're here this morning, Lord. Tell you thank you. Thank you, Lord. Well, Lord, we want to thank you again, our Father. Yes. Well, Lord, for our lay lying down on last night, Lord. Oh, Lord, you watched over us while we slumber and, and while we sleep. Yes. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Oh, Lord. And then we really early, early this morning, yes. our Father. Yes, yes. early yes. this morning. Oh, Lord, you touch it with your divine finger, Lord. Yes. yes. Oh, Lord, what was our, our sleep this morning? Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord, we were closed and in our right mind. Yes, Father. Oh, Lord, and we had a reasonable portion, Lord, our health and strength. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, Lord, and then use an activity of all our lives. Yes, Father. Oh, Lord, you allowed us to get up and look around our home this morning. Yeah. Oh, Lord, and find everything was still going pretty well. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Lord. I want to tell you this morning, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, and then we were able to go, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Lord, yes. Oh, yes. We were feeling ready this morning, Lord. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord, we were able to bear food for oh, the yes. reason of our body. Yes, God. Oh, Lord, and we want to tell you thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, yes. we're alive this morning, our Father. Yes, God. Oh, Lord, that you have been good. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord, we just want to tell you, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord I want to thank you again this morning, Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, Lord, for just blessing, just blessing, just blessing us this morning. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord to see another brand new Sunday morning. Yes. Oh, Lord, we rely on Lord in the last week this time, Lord. Mm. Oh, Lord, we had some time up, Lord, and some time mm. down. Oh, yes. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, we done had trouble on every hand. Yes. Oh, Lord, we want to tell you thank you. Thank Lord. you, Lord. Uh-huh. 
and my name, Lord, I know I've been changed, Lord, I know I've been changed, I know I've been changed, well, the angels in heaven are signed my name, one day, one day, as I was walking alone, yeah, the angels in heaven signed my name. I heard a voice, but saw no one, yeah, the angels in heaven signed my name. Lord, I know I've been changed. Lord, I Somebody can tell you something sometimes, hey, you think you're drinking too much, you know. You ain't gonna listen to them. But when God touch you, you know you've been touched. Because he don't let you look back at it, you know. He'll let you think about the things that he brought you through. But he ain't going back. I done been around it and everything. I done worked around it. Uh, I done worked one job twice. One was with alcohol and uh, one was without drinking. And it was the same job and the alcohol was all around me. But the, cha the change came when I did different around that alcohol. Amen. And God kept me and been keeping me ever since. And I thank him for it. I thank God for the Sunday school lesson this morning. 
This Holy Spirit is in this building. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we have to come and meet God. He ain't going to show up at your doorstep. We got to get up out that bed, get off this tomb, and come out here and praise God. He told us not to fail to assemble ourselves together. And all these things that going on around us, the virus and everything, this could be what God waiting on. This could be what he waiting on for us to get up and come out and worship him. You know, he don't want us to be in the house worshiping him. He said, meet him. We need to be as Christians uplifting his name during this pandemic. That's who we need. He's going to show up. But he's attentive to the prayers made in this place. He said, upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against him. We need to get these churches going. And show God that we mean business and we're all about Him. Yes. Because He's been our keeper. He kept us brought us through danger seen and unseen. Yes. I know at plenty of times I remember, I don't even remember how I made it home. Yes. But everything was fine when I woke up the next morning. Yes. I thank God for it. Yes. I don't take it lightly. Because He's been good to me. I know He has. But like the song, right? The rule of song is if, if God never does anything else for me, hey, he done enough. He done he enough. Done enough. Amen. Amen. He done enough already. Amen. He already made a way for you, prepared a place in His kingdom already. He already made the way. And so, that book, the Bible, is our instructions. And once we get off of, the, off of those instructions, we go wrong. I, as a parent. And a father, you want to put things together during Christmas time, you know. So I love to just look at the picture and say, I got this. And every time I got off of them instruction, I went wrong. <laughs> so I always end up back having to go back, take it down uh, apart, and go back to the instruction. I had to take it apart and go back to the instruction so I could do it right. So God wants us to humble ourselves and worship him. And all this, it's all about uplifting this name. Yes, God is. looking for some praise right now. Yes. Pandemic can kill over a half a million people. Uh, God looking for some praise right now. Yes. He's looking for some praise. Yes. And in the high places, we're not getting it. Just like Pharaoh. He told Pharaoh to let his people go, but Pharaoh didn't hear. Mm. But God kept on sending plague after plague to finally. He had to tell Moses, your God is the God. Yeah, your God is the God. I pass. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. We thank God for your testimony. Amen. It serves to keep us, God, honest and obedient. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. I am so thankful that we are here today. Amen. And for those who have come out, God bless you. Amen. For those who have made their minds up yet, keep praying. Amen. And let the Holy Spirit lead you. Amen? Amen. And for those who are not able to come yet, Amen. delay don't mean deny. Amen. Amen. Amen? God's delays are always for our good. Amen? Amen? God has a purpose in everything that he does. Because he has ordered our steps. The word says the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. So if you are out of step a little bit, just get back in step and watch God work it out for you. God has a plan and a purpose for everything he does. Amen? Amen. Good morning, Mount Zion Primitive Baptist Church. Amen. We're so excited to have you here on Zoom as well as those who are in person. Today is our first uh, uh, real day of being back in person on the South uh, re-entry. And we're so thankful that God laid a plan on our spirit where we can come back together and be close and connected. Amen? amen? When we all get together, amen, what a time, what a time. Amen? Amen. 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 I'm excited uh, to have uh, a couple of good friends here. I see uh, uh, Mr. William Boyd here. I'm so thankful amen. that you amen. came and blessed us. Uh, Mama Georgia here. Amen. We're so thankful for all of our Zion who's here amen. on the screen as well as who are physically here. I'm excited. Amen. I'm excited because God is excited to see his people getting up and moving. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. God said, when you take a step, uh -huh. I'll take two. Yeah. So now that we are initiated, coming back to being in the presence of God, God's presence is coming upon us. Amen? Yeah. He said, when you draw near to me, I'll draw near to you. Y'all better look out. 
Some things you've been praying for. God about to move on. In the midst of this 21 day fast, it's even better to see that God is bringing us closer to him. Amen? I won't tear up here because I can go all day talking, but I don't want to talk. I want to be about my father's business. Amen? Amen. First and foremost, we have tithing where you can go online and pay your tithes and, and your offering. The word of God says give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down, shaking together, and rolling over into your lap. For God loves a cheerful giver. Amen? Amen. So give the way God portions you to give. Don't let pastor tell you how to give. Give it the way that God lays it on your heart and your spirit. You know what you got. You know what you need. You know what you told God you're going to do. Amen? Amen. Amen. Also, we're on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can share it with some more people and you can let them know what God is doing here at Mount Zion. Amen. Amen. Nick, if I can borrow you for a minute, I would like for you to come up and pray over the offering for those who are uh, pouring out an offering and those who are tithing today. Amen. Amen. Bow our heads. God, we come once again with thanksgiving in our hearts. Oh God, thanking you for your many blessings. God, thank you for watching over us all night long as we stumble and trip. Yes. Then earlier this morning, you touched us with a finger of love, Father. And when we rose, we were closed and in our right mind. Yes, Father. Oh God, we want to ask you to touch those who may be sick and shut in this morning, Father. Because we realize you can be a doctor this morning. Right now, go forth, Father. Right now. Go in the hospitals, oh God. Right now. Into the nursing homes, oh God. Glory. Go out all over this land, whatever may be sickness, Father, and touch them right now, Lord. Yes, Father. Then, Lord, we ask you to bless this collection, Father, that it may be used in the purpose that it was taken up for. Yes. For the other man did not your kingdom. Yes, Father. And that's on Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, D. Thank you, D. I won't tear it long here because there is a word today. Amen? Amen. Is uh, Sister Washington on the screen right now? She is. She is. Sister Washington, I know we don't do a whole lot of recognizing, but I want to recognize you today. Hallelujah. And I want to thank you, yes, not only for being the secretary of this church, mm -hmm. but I want to thank you for doing a great job in God. Mm -hmm. Because it is God who drives you, God who leads you, God who speaks to you to do the things that you do. I want to recognize you because you've been waking up every morning in this fast at 4 o'clock and sending out the morning message to the children of Mount Zion and all who are participating. So we just want to acknowledge God for you today uh, and thank God for you in the midst of what we got going on. Amen? Amen. So we just want to thank you, Sister Washington. Amen. Amen. If I'm forgetting anything, y'all, please, I want to just say thank you, uh, Mount Zion, for how you showed up and showed out on last week for Black History. Again, I, I, I can't thank the church enough. Uh, we're preparing for family and friends in a couple of weeks. So, hey, we're going to ask that the Holy Spirit continues to grow and nurture us and just have his way with us and what we're doing here for God. Let it be about God today. Amen? Amen. 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 That is a word. I won't tarry much longer. If I've forgotten anything, please forgive me, uh, and I'll come back to it at another time. Oh, yes, I did forget this. Uh, for those who are not paying on tithing, uh, during the communion session today from 12 to 1, you can still come by physically and pay your tithes and offerings, and we will have drive-up communion for those who are not physically here from 12 to 1 today. Amen? Amen. 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 It might be a little bit after 12 because it's a quarter to 12 now. So uh, we'll push the time to whatever it needs to be, but we'll be here until we finish doing what we need to do for the Lord. Amen? Amen. 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 There is a word today. We're taking uh, the word of God from Psalms chapter 95, and we're going to look at verses 1 through 7. Psalms chapter 95, and we're going to look at verses 1 through 7. When we get it, can I get a sign of agreement? And everybody say amen once they get it. Psalms 95, verses 1 through 7. Amen. 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 I'll be reading from the New King James Version, and it reads as follows. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us shout joyfully to him with songs. For the Lord is great, a great God, and he is the great king above all gods. 
and his hands are the deep places of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands formed the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker, for he is our God. And we are his people in his pasture and the sheep of his hands. Today, if you will hear his voice, Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand here asking now, God, that you will fill me, God, with your Holy Spirit, that I can speak your words, not of myself, not of my will, but let your will be done. Father, in the name of Jesus, prepare your people to prepare a ready word from on high. God, we just, we just thank you today for who you are. We give you glory, we give you praise, and we give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen, amen. Interesting topic I want to share with you today that God shared with me. And I want to break bread with you today the way God has given it to me. Today I'll be speaking from the subject, I come to worship. Amen. I come to worship. Amen. I come to worship. I don't know what you might be going through. I don't know what you might be dealing with. I don't know how your praise is. But today I stop by today to let you know I just come to worship. Worship and adore our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is no other way. There is no other reason why you're here. There is no other purpose that he kept you but to worship and praise him. Amen? Amen. So today, I just want to take a few minutes and tell you that I come to worship. I find here that David was at the Feast of Tabernacles. All the children of Israel were broken up. They was living in, in little booths. And at this time that they were living in booths, they was giving God praise. Because they were remembering how God had set apart the time when they were leaving Egypt. He set a time for them to be designated. These are the times that you ought to come into my presence. And when you come into my presence, separate yourself. Every family has a booth. Every family has a tent. Set yourself over here that you can prepare to come before me in worship. But what we do here in the church sometimes... We find ourselves feeling so down. We come on to church, we drag ourselves in, and we, we all love, woe is me. But God wants you to be coming in here, giving him something that he can give you something back. Amen. It's just like if you go to the bank, if you write a check and you hadn't made a deposit, you're not going to get nothing out. It's going to bounce. As a believer, as a Christian, if you're not coming in here to worship God, what are you here for? Are you here to be nosy? Are you here to see who's here? Are you here to see how they doing it? You got to realize we're in a pandemic. So not many going to show up. But God says in his word that any time that there's two or more in agreement in anything in my name, there I am in the midst of Y'all don't realize the greater I am will show up and show out in the midst of what you're going through. So I come to worship today. I didn't come for no games. I didn't come for no show. I didn't come to show no fashion. I came for the worship God and God alone. Amen? Amen. This is communion Sunday. And if you ain't serious about him taking communion, you're detrimental to yourself. Yes. So here we find David in the wilderness up celebrating the Feast of Tabernacle. And what David thought to do in the Feast of Tabernacle, he thought to call to worship and obedience. So we find that David, who a man after God's own heart, we know that David was sincere about it because God had brought him through too much. Yeah. Oh, man, somebody, if we had mirrors that'll pop up in the back of these pews right now, yeah. and they could just show you, and you can see that God had kept you through too much. Yeah. I don't know what you have been through, but I guarantee you, when you look back over your life and you see where he done brought you from, you can't help but to worship. What he stand for. And then he sent his only begotten son to take the sins of the world. Yours and mine, before we were in our mother's womb, before we even thought about it, God kept us. So the first thing I want to talk about when we come to worship, the first thing you got to have when you come to worship is gravity. What you mean? I'm not an astronaut, I'm not a scientist. But you got to have some gravity. You got to be able to gravitate to the Holy Spirit. Because when you gravitate to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will gravitate back to you. I don't know what you've been through sometimes when you find yourself broke down and crying and don't know where to go. Gravitate to God and see him show up and surround you. And next day you know you're floating around and don't know how God changed it. God can change it in a moment. In the twinkling of an eye. But you got to come with a worship. You got to come with a praise. You got 
to come with an offering. You got to come with a gift. He already gave you everything you need to have when he sent his only begotten son. Somebody who man looked at and said he wasn't worthy to be the Messiah. Some man still to this day believes he was just a prophet. I believe that when he came, washed blood, washed full of the Holy Spirit, yeah. sat down when God said, this is my son whom I'm well pleased with. Somebody got to connect with it and come to worship. But we find that David was here in the wilderness, so he had to talk to him a little bit. So I find that in the first verse, he said, oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully. See, son, see, I don't know about you. Oh, my God. Satan, Satan got some of y'all scared to shout sometimes. Y'all, 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 uh -huh. he scared, he got you scared to shout. Do you know that when you shout Jesus, the devil in hell have to tremble? Do you know when you shout Jesus, the purpose comes about when God shows up in your life? So David said, let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. He said, let us come before his presence. With Thanksgiving, so I'm gravitating to him. I'm gravitating to him because I'm thankful yeah. for everything I've done. I'm thankful yeah. for everything that God is doing to me. I'm thankful for the mistakes I've made. I'm thankful that God rectified my mistakes. I'm thankful that God said, son, I still love you. Yeah. I'm thankful that God told me I forgive you. I'm yeah. thankful that the gravity that he showed to me, that it doesn't matter to me that what man or woman is saying. Yeah. I'm thankful that yeah. God don't hold back when he said, I'll gravitate to you anyway. I'm thankful when I make mistakes still in this day and time. God still gravitates to me and say, come on, son. Keep coming. Don't stop. Don't stop. Even though you're stumbling, don't stop. I got you. So David here, when he came to worship, he went a little further. He said, nah. he said let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. But he said, let us shout joyfully to him with song. He said, for the Lord he is. He is the great God. Yeah. Second thing I want to talk about, we got to come with gladness. Yeah. Not only should you gravitate to the Holy Spirit, but you got to be glad about it. Yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. You didn't have to wake up this morning. Yeah. We, we see now on the news every day, over 500,000 to die from the coronavirus. You didn't have to wake up this morning. Everybody ain't from the corona, some of from heart attack, some of from diabetes, come on, yeah. some from suicide. Yeah. A lot of them been died from murder. Yeah. But you got to be glad to say, God, I'm thankful yeah. that you woke me up this morning. Yeah. You didn't have to, God, yeah. but you did. You thought about a little on me. So I come to worship. But I'm not only gravitating to it, but I'm glad about it. I'm glad to say, God, you changed me. They talked about me. But you changed me. They criticized me. But you changed me. They still talking about my name. But you changed me. Oh, God, they lying on me. But you changed me. God, they put me down. But you changed me. God, they laid me down. But you stood me up. God, you stood it for your glory. So I find that as David kept talking to him and told him he's the great God, he said, he's the king above all gods. So, oh, my God. Y'all got to stop looking everywhere else for your God and you already got him. God is already inside of you. Stop making your, your car your God. Stop making your job your God. Stop making your bank account your God. Stop making your wife or your husband your God. Stop making your children your God. I'm going to get a little bit more personal. Stop making your church your God. God is over the church. We are the church. If we don't bring that to the church, the church won't be existing. My God. So we got to have gratitude. We got to be glad about it. And the third thing we got to do, we got to have gratitude. Not an attitude, but we got to have gratitude. Gratitude is a gracious attitude. To say, God, you didn't have to do that for me, but you did. Look at me, God. I'm more woeful as me, but you did. God, I was messing up bad, but you did. But we find David. In the midst of the celebration of tabernacle and the feast of booth, he went on and said this. In his hands are the deep places of the earth. He started really showing them why he showed gratitude. He showed them that you are the creator. Nobody else could do what you did. Nobody else could make me. Nobody else could make my children. Nobody could make my wife. 
Nobody can make my family members but you, God. My ancestors whose shoulders I stand up on, God. Yeah. It makes me glad to know that you thought about little old Thomas today. Yeah. You can put your own name in the blank. I'm going to say mine. Yeah. But you can put your own name in the blank yeah. because God thought about you this morning. Yeah. He thought about you from the rising of the sun to the setting of the moon. Wait, but listen to what I said. God breathed breath in you this morning. Yeah. When you thought that you, some of y'all, oh, my, my God, oh, my God. God, somebody had a problem and they sleeping on last night. Somebody didn't lay down sleeping and feeling their best. Last night. You know what I'm saying? Somebody might have had cramps last night. Yeah. Somebody couldn't breathe last night. Somebody had a heart attack last night. But I thank God that he is a, 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 a doctor in a sick room. I thank God that he's a lawyer in a courtroom. I thank God that he's a judge behind all judges. I thank God for his presence. And God says this, when you come to worship me, I will meet you at the threshold of whatever you got going on. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. I, I don't care what it is. When you worship me, I'll show myself friendly to you and your situation. And your problems have to dissipate. They can't stay around the presence of God. I don't know who's listening to me today, but you, your problems can't stand around the presence of God. That's why the children of Israel didn't want to see him. They just wanted to hear from him. But I want to see him. I want his presence. I need him. I come to worship yes. today. Yes. But he said this. He said the heights of the hills are also his. He said the sea is his. For he made it. And his hands formed the dry land. What you think you standing on? People around here talking, it ain't no God. Well, what you think you standing on? People around here saying, it ain't no God. How you think you breathing? People around here saying it ain't no God. Look up in the sky and see the sun. People saying it ain't no God. When the sun go down, look at the moon pop up. Yeah. You said it ain't no God. Look at the stars out there and everything that goes with it. You said it ain't no God. Look at the water that you drink every day. You said it ain't no God but Father for providing food for you to eat every day. You said it ain't no God but there's a meal that you never slept on. You said it ain't no God but in your bank account got a little money that you can write a check to pay a bill. You said it ain't no God but you can get that bill money. You got a job you can go to. You said it ain't no God. No God but there's a social security that sends you a check every month. You said it ain't no God. The way make it. Problem solved. Provider. Son of David. Pray the morning star. Son of my salvation. Rock of my Travolta. Oh my God, my God. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. But God said this as I get ready to close. And showing my gratitude back to him. He said, oh come, let us worship and bow down. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Oh, come and let us worship and bow down. Some things don't need to be expounded on. They don't need to be explained. He said, let us kneel before our maker, the Lord, for he is our God. And we are his people of his pastor. We got to remember who you are. We are his people. That's why God says clearly, if my people who are called by my name, come on church, will humble themselves and pray, then then will I hear from heaven and heal the land. But see, you got to realize something. We are the sheep in his land. You don't think that he's going to take care of us? Because we belong to him. Bring a worship and get something back. But he went on to say this, and the sheep of his hand, but it said, today, if you will hear his voice, God's children knows his voice. When you come to worship God, who you worship, and you worship that voice that is inside of you that say, go a little higher, climb a little higher, get a little bit more anointed. Holy Spirit, come closer, come closer, come closer, come closer, come closer, come closer in the name of Jesus. But I know a man who came to worship. I know a man. Who had the glory on him. I know a man. Who broke all the destitute minds. I know a man. Who set the captives free. I know a man. Who set the spirit right. I know a man. That they couldn't stand. I know a man. Because they couldn't touch him. I know a man. Who they hung on the cross. I know a man. Who hung there and died. I know a man. Who bled for me. I know a man. That they 
they took him down and put him in a tomb that didn't belong to him. It didn't belong to him because it wasn't his. It didn't belong to him because it wasn't meant for him to be there. It didn't belong to him because he came to worship. It didn't belong to him because he got up. He got up one Sunday morning. All of one Sunday morning he got up. And he didn't get up with some power. He got up with all power. In his hand. And all it takes in the midst of your worship is Jesus come by and touch you. Yes, and you'll never be the same. Yes, I come Lord. to worship. What about you? Yes, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Let us prepare Amen. now for communion. Yes. Father, we just thank you for what you've done today, what you're doing today, and what you shall do. We thank you for your presence, God. We thank you for how you're operating in this church today, God. We thank you for how you're operating in all your calls, set apart places, God, and your set apart people, God. In the name of Jesus, let your nature be our nature, God. Let your will be our will. Let your wisdom be our wisdom, God, and let your power come down from heaven. God, in the name of Jesus, let your Holy Spirit rest, root, reign, and abide in us, God. God, we just thank you so much for your presence today. For all that you do to us, for us, and through us, God. We thank you for allowing us to be your children, God. We thank you for allowing us to be yours and yours alone. God, we pray now that you would touch the sick and shed in God. We take, we pray now, God, that you would touch the hospitals, God. We pray now, God, that you would go into the jail cells right now, God. We pray now, God, we, we pray that you will touch the mentally lost right now, God. They just don't even know they're, where they're at. God, we pray for the bereaved families right now, God. There's so much bereavement going on, God, in this life. God, we ask now that you would touch down, God, in our family members who are lost and just can't find their way to you. God, I give myself to you. I surrender my all, God, that you may use me for your glory, God. That you may use me for your kingdom, God. That may, you may use me with your power, God. Use us, God, as your children. Let us be your vessels today, God. Let us represent you in all that we are, God. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. God, we praise you. God, we lift you up. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us prepare for communion.